Like a proud native, we spray paint our names on the walls of the mall to ward off predators. And that's supposed to terrify people? No, no. We believe passionately in non-violent solutions to life's problems. Gangs have to learn to love, to be inclusionary. We'd award badges to good gangs and give bad gangs a silly hat. It would we'll give people something to do. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. The ancient Chinese. Hmm, nice bike. Really remind me of someone, by the way. You idiot. How do you think we keep prison costs down? It ain't by magic or cooking the books. We save that for education. But, as in most things, we in government are saving money so that you don't have to. When we spend less money on services, more goes to administration salaries and expenses, which helps make lives a lot less difficult for everyone. Sharing your taxes out amongst the select few. So, Mr. Shrub, will you be working for my father? Maybe. You mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Do anything illegal or try to get rich quickly. But since you got elected, Vice City has been characterized. See you around, handsome. Offer tax breaks to the rich. I'm sure you will. A dessert with potential lethal consequences. Not true. Only 23 people have died, and several of them probably deserved it. So, with people being set such a bad example by big business, how are they supposed to respect each other, to act safely in society? And how are they policed by a demoralized and underfunded police force? Well, I'm afraid that's apparently quite a difficult question, but my solution is easy. Yeah. <laughs> and laughing and photo opportunities at your store or place of business. Just send me a letter. I'll send you an automated I'm photocopied response. We call it democracy, and that's where the money goes. Now, just a jo minute. Don't interrupt. Let me finish. Hello. 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 
button point to keep that miserable contemplation of mortality at bay. Hell, if steering time will work Grandpa so hard he'll wish he was dead. At the end of the day, he'll sit down in the bluegrass, eat a bowl of commemorative beans, and enjoy sing-alongs at one of our nightly funerals. It's the Cowboys Code. Work hard, don't shower, and die in your boots. Right, Norm? Ah, my prostate. It's the knife that saved America. If you like the film Exploder, you'll love this enormous commemorative survival knife. In the handle, you'll find all of the things you'll need in any wilderness, disaster situation, or the jungle of your backyard. It comes with a fishing line, needle and thread for sewing gashes back together, and an incredibly useful and durable toothpick. And die without me! I've got puppy stuck in tooth! It's okay, Hochi. Try this! For those unplanned extended stays in the jungle, there's a saw for building your own hot toilet paper and a fold-out as well as a serrated blade that can kill a man before he can scream. Somebody go! The Exploder Survival Knife. It's the knife that saved America. Now, it can save you. This knife kills 25,000 people in Cambodia. Now, you can't do that. What do you think? Oh, you Peggy Mode. They call me vacuum cleaner. Keep moving unless you want to see my finger. Man, I want you, man. Climbing the broadcasting ladder at a rate of six knots. Six years ago, I was a clown, and now I'm a success. <laughs> Think about it. Imagine where I could be in ten years. I could achieve anything. Anyway, morality. What is it? Why do we need it? Our ancestors, shortly after discovering fire, built tools to beat each other over the head and discover how to. Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Daddy needs change for a dollar. Richards himself. We also have John Brown, leader of Moms Against Popular Culture, or MAPC. Or is it MAPS? Map gay? I don't know. We're deep in acronym hell right now. Or is it purgatory? And finally, we have Barry Starr, author of the book As Nature Intended. He's the editor of Vice City's Naturist News, and is working feverishly, it says here, to bring more nude recreation. Mr. Barry Stark behind a divider. I'm naked back here. 
It's my right as a person. Yes. Let's start with the obvious, yeah? Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. This way! This is the 10, 17, Central, Washington Beach. Step on the gas, dude. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shop is a couple of blocks away where the artificial suns will rain down to punish the degenerates of this city. But you can save yourself. The Pastor Richard Salvation Statue will be a completely self-sufficient community. We have canned food rations, private living quarters, and enough supplies to survive happily the predicted 40,000 years of nuclear winter. In phase two, and with funding from NASA, we will equip this massive statue with rockets. So when the poopy hits the proverbial fan, we will load up the statue with all of the people who have saved themselves through generous donations, blast into space, and colonize Saturn with a race of morally correct, affluent people ruled by me. Hmm, will there be naked people? No, turd brain. It's morally corrupt people like you we're shielding ourselves from. Liberal. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. me in charge. Screw you, man. Ah! Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. or whatever they call it. How can you take your kid to a Little League game when you live in a communal farm growing drugs? It's awful. And that's what my life is about, looking down on others. Yes, I think I can see that now. Moving on. Pastor Richards, in your book, you talk about putting yourself first. I'm 
finger. Oh, man. oh, oh please! Innocent until I say otherwise. Who's <laughs> and taking their toilet paper? Napoleon, Stalin, Attila the Hun, all of them. After you read my book, you will understand. I may have been born in the sea, but I'm no dummy. Are we gonna talk about being naked? Yeah, <laughs> soon, Barry. Uh, keep your hair on and uh, uh, calm down, please, my friend. <clears throat> Divorce rates are up. Standardized test scores are down. Vampire sightings at the mall. Can the family be safe? Or, to put it another way, if we're meant to be monogamous, why won't be born already married? Jan, over to you. Well, since I'm a happily married mother, I know the family unit is the basis of all society. Even when my husband is working. I can't believe this is happening! Remember, guilty is a dirty word. Ah! Well, it is one planet, even if we do just want to maim and kill each other, especially me. Now, look at sharks and sandworms. Well, among my hobbies, besides making babies and criticizing people, is biology. You learn so much from nature. But people these days, they don't grow their own food. They can barely get out of their recliners and make it to the supermarket. Hey, Tommy, it's Sonny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Ah, shit! So the Degenitron, which I understand is a games machine, then you swore. I'm sorry, it makes me so mad. I mean, what I heard my son, Patrick the Third, I heard him using slang words in the house the other day. Rad and cool and stick it. I mean, I... Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. how to kill dinner. My daddy was a very wise man. Before that tractor pull accident, my daddy taught me how to slaughter a pig. That's very useful information. Oh sure, I was a little nervous at first, but he put me in a room with a fork and a fat sow and told me he'd be back in an hour for some fat back and hog gels. As a mother, I'm proud to say I throttled the life out of that little piggy. I did- it Sticks out, boys. Let's crack some commie skulls. Daddy earns money and goes away with his secretary, and Mommy provides dinner and keeps a brave face on things, even though her heart is breaking. Where are my pills? Barry, you look like you've got something to say. I agree. Statistics show that families that spend time together naked are the best kinds of families. You see, social class... <laughs> space with other affluent, well-to-do people. It's that simple. Do what I say and you won't have to think for yourself. Oh, but I think it is. Why so we look over? around, moody clubs, discos, drinking. Do people want to be moral? Can you legislate morality? Can we tell people how to live their lives? Absolutely. Yes, of course I can. Just look at prohibition or, or the cultural revolution in China. We can learn a lot from history. Chairman Mao or Stalin, they purge their lands of degenerates and intellectuals, the scum of the earth and other. And look at the great societies they built. People. Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. 
you were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat. Huh? Okay? Good day, senor.